Now it's going to come down to Bogdan Dragovic, Nikola Kovacevic, Lazar Rasic, and Nikola Vukovic Bufi. <laughs> Uh, to, to determine if they can get past Team Princeton. This is going to be a crazy good matchup. I, this is one I had circled on today's quarterfinal matchup simply because, you know, Zamoon coming out of Pool C undefeated. I think they shocked some people with the way they played day one. They certainly got the Americans' attention with Team Princeton. We, uh, we having a hard time backing down the hatches with this win. <laughs> There's uh, Team Princeton. They're led by former NBA player, Robbie Hummel. There's one of Northwestern's best sharpshooters in school history, Craig Moore. There's Robbie Hummel, the former baby boiler maker, great. Couple of years with the Timberwolves. One of Brown's all-time three-point shootout marksmen, Damon Huffman, and one of Princeton's most flamboyant players, my Brady's. He's going to get getting it in with the crowd here. This Princeton team, they got more shooters than the camera crew. But with the wind whipping the way it is, you wonder how they adjust their game. There's Bogdan Dragovich. He hit the shot heard around 3x3 here last year on this same court. Bob Brady's will be one of the people, one of the four that try to slow him down. Number three, Dan Bob Brady's now a, uh, a financial advisor in Los Angeles. Kola Vukovic, what a day he had. 14 points, one of the top scorers from, from day one. Had the game winner in overtime. Just an incredible game for Zamoon as they were able to beat Riga to uh, come out of the day undefeated. Vukovic, their, uh, their leading scorer coming out of the day once again. Been impressed with Bogdan Dragovic. He uh, bounced back well from a from an MCL injury that had him out all summer. Joined the tour in Utsunomiya this year. There's Bogdan Dragovic. He hit the shot with the game tied at 17 apiece last year against Novi Sad Awada in the final. Just before the buzzer. The biggest shot in 3x3 history. He's back balling on the same court here again in 2018. Here's Damon Huffman. Making his move, driving, uh, the teardrop. That'll get you emotional. Shout out to everybody watching uh, the action. No matter where you're watching from, I know we got some, we got some American viewers on the broadcast. What's happening? Kyle Montgomery in your ear. Hailing from LA myself. But I got no dog in this fight, as they say. Expect to see a good game between two very talented teams. Here's Vukovic. Oh, working on Hummel. Drives on him like Uber and gets to his destination. And Vukovic whistle for the foul. Team Princeton trying to become the first uh, American team to win the World Tour Final. They're the first American team competing here at the World Tour Final since 2016. There's Huffman. Too much on the shot, but Hummel comes uh, comes away with the fadeaway, but he missed the shot. Somehow ends up back with it. Gets it over to, to D. Huff. Oh, little stop and go. He had nowhere to go. Craig Moore, the runner, and it's missed. Oh, Dragovic, quick change of direction. More kick, Hummel. Oh, Hummel missed it. Hummel, a top scorer from day one. 14 points for him. 
as Dragovic elevates. Couldn't find his touch from long range. There's Kovacevic, the young fella, 19-year-old, kept the play alive. Bogdan knows what to do with it. He puts it in the cup. Now Hummel attacking the rack, and he's dripping in finesse. It don't make no sense. Offensive foul. This call here. So your reigning World Tour final champs. They had to sit and watch and wait for this last quarter final. And if they can get past Princeton, they'll be meeting up with Novi Sad Alwada in a rematch of last year's final. Here on this same court. Princeton gonna have something to say about that though. Trust and believe. There's Vukovic. Shooter's touch, rolls around, then drops in. There's my Brady's, he gets the step. Pass Rossage, he takes the bump. Foul number three on Zemu. Because everybody loves him. Here's my Brady's. Princeton's own. So you got a couple of uh, Ivy Leaguers with Ma Brady's and, and Huffman. A couple of big tenors with Moore and, uh, and Hummel. Pass is stolen, so Zamun's lead. Chance to add to it, Kovacevic. Too much air on that shot. Out of bounds it goes. Just two minutes into this game. Zamud 0-1 against Princeton as they met in the, uh, the Moscow Challenger pools phase. Although I don't think uh, I don't think Hummel played in that one. Three Challenger wins for uh, for Team Princeton this year as Hummel comes up empty on the inside. Now it's time to D up the Dragon. Oh. Hits the deck. That foul called on Huffman. He's gonna argue his case. So two point game. We haven't seen a whole lot of scoring today. The conditions making it difficult. Lazarasic. Kicks it to the dragon. He steps into the shot. Too much sauce on it. Now he's trying to use his length over Huffman, but Huffman is a better defender than, than most think. Small dude, but he's strong. He'll fight you tooth and nail. My Brady's. He's off the mark on the shot. Six points apiece through three minutes and 14 seconds. So, so far, so good for Zamun, who have a two-point advantage. I was saying that coming into this, this day, in this quarterfinal, I was like, the battle of the bigs. This is, this is Princeton's smaller lineup. They've also had Kareem Maddox and Zaire Carrington on the squad this year. As the moon extends their lead to three now, five to two game. There's Craig Moore using that body to get some space. Couldn't make the shot. That ball's out of bounds off of, uh, is that Kovacevic? Oh, beautiful pass. What a, duck, a difficult layup attempt for Huffman. He missed it. So now the Dragon trying to heat up. Sham is taken. Greg Moore said, I, I've seen that. Huffman, ooh, missed it. Wide open look. Now Kovacevic going to work. He kicks it. Dragon. He drives, kicks. Boofy. So they, they giving Boofy the green light. 
shoot, you start shooting a little bit, a few more of those two balls. Vukovic, man. He had 11 points, eight rebounds, and two blocks in that opening win over Gargetti. And then six points, including that game winner in OT against Riga. Oh, Rossich, FaceTime, as he and Huffman get acquainted. Oh, and then my Brady. Might have a chance for a two-point play. Missed the layup, though. So for now, it's a seven to three game. Zamoon in front. See if my Raiders can cut into that lead just a little bit. We're approaching the mid midway point. This is our last quarterfinal. After this one, the semifinals will be set. Kyle Montgomery in your ear once again. You can follow me uh, on social media at 3x3thevoice. Uh, my Brady's free throw. Too strong. My Brady's 25th leading scorer in Princeton history. Over 1,000 points scored. He could have used one at the strike. Instead, they come up empty. Now they got to try to slow down Rosic. Shout out to uh, Marco Dugosia. This is the Moon team playing with, without one of their key players this year, Dugo Seal with an MCL. So they've had an injury bug this year. He's watching right now. What's up, Mr. Doogie? Get better, man. I'll see you back on the court in 2019. Seen a lot of missed free throws. Not a coincidence. Oh, Huffman. Has he? Oh, but he lost the rock. So Vukovic. He's lost 80 pounds in the past two years, and so he can move his feet a little bit better now. I'm not sure what that discussion entails down there on the court right now, but our 3x3 refs do a good job trying to keep it clean. Dragovic, man, on the back door. Kovacevic couldn't hold on to it. Kovacevic, 19 years old. Just getting adjusted to 3x3. Playing on the, on the biggest stage on the Pro Tour. Homo misses underneath. So they've done a pretty good job of keeping Hummel contained as Princeton's have been only able to manage three points. Dragovic, halfway down before it comes out. Then Boofy, he recovers it, puts it in. My Brady's going to the spin move. And Kovacevic called for the foul. That'll put My Brady's back on the strike. Boofy runs over to Kovacevic and says, it, don't say nothing. Young fella, don't get us no technicals that we don't need. We got a five-point lead right now. We like the way things are going. Oh, my Brady's. Another miss at the free throw strike. And we saw, saw Team Princeton have their worst finish of the year to start the year in Saskatoon, where wind also kind of played a factor. They are they tell you themselves that they shoot it a lot better without the elements. This is where you this is where you're gonna have to lean on your big man. Former Timberwolf Hummel to open the things up for you offensively. Rossich's pass is stolen. They get it down to Hummel. Sit down. Be Hummel. As he punches his ticket at the rim. Nice pass, quick elevation from Robbie. And every one of these Princeton players, these, these dudes have uh, have day jobs. 
As uh, my ratings and more are both financial and financial financial advisement in LA and New York. Hummel is a basketball analyst for Big Ten and ESPN. Huffman works in the uh, medical device sales industry in Michigan. So these, these are everyday dudes, man, trying to put something together on this 3x3 court. Oh, Rosic blocked by the backboard. Too far underneath. Hummel stepping outside. And he's wetter than Flipper. Gets his team within one. The help him just get crossed. I don't know. Rossic, his two off target. And then Huffman called for the foul. Trying to block it from behind. But uh, if you're going to foul anybody, put him on the free throw line. Eh, Vukovic is the dude to, to put on the strike. Goofy makes it a two-point game as he made that free throw. He shut me up quick, didn't he? Hummel, oh, lost his footing on the spin move, but stays with it. Shot clock violation. And we got a challenge, shot clock uh, challenge here. I think that uh, Huffman is, is saying that that shot hit the rim, so the shot clock should have reset and allowed him to get to to get that bucket. So we'll, we'll see. We'll get another look at it. That's what the IRS is for. It's the replay system. Uh, uh. Look again. If Princeton, uh, if they don't win this challenge, then they won't have a chance to challenge again. Don't panic. Challenge is one. So Princeton will get the rock. No bucket, obviously no bucket on the uh So they'll start with the rock. And I have 10 seconds on the shot clock. There's Hummel, handing it off to Moore. Moore, he got the safety off. Still fires a, a miss. Dragon, floaters a no-go, my ratings. He goes down, gets it to Moore, and Moore. Get money, get money like an invoice. Y'all didn't know I could sing, did y'all? Nine up! Kovacevic, and a 19-year-old, is fouled on the drive. Ecstatic to be playing on, at the World Tour Final. So look back at Moore with the quick trigger. Runner off the glass, missed. And Hummel to Huffman, nine apiece. My Brady's out to Huffman, Huffman. Misses, recovers it though. Fresh shot clock to work with. So Huff, he was thinking about getting it down to Hummel. Hummel goes to the opposite block. Instead of banging on Bogdan, he fires the short. Jay missed it. Stays locked in nine apiece, approaching two minutes to play. 2-10 officially, the drive, the kick, Kovacevic, open sesame, access granted. Oh, then my ratings just blew by the Dragon to get keep Princeton within one. Dragon setting up against Huffman. To Vukovic, he wastes no time, goes right at Hummel. Hummel tried to throw it off of Vukovic, goes through his legs to the Dragon. And now he's got to try to stay in front of Kovacevic. Tough matchup here for Mavradis against Vufi. He gets a little help from Hummel, but Hummel is called for the foul. In the process of the shot, so Vufi will shoot one. I was saying if there's anybody you want to foul, it's Vufi. Last time, and I said that, he, he knocked down the free throw. 
So we'll see if he can keep the good times rolling at the charity strike. Nikola Vukovic missed it, but stays with it. Used that size against Huffman to get the rebound for a shot clock. Now he's going back to work. Out to Rosic, quick move. Tried to get past more. He kicks it to the Dragon. It's 13 to 10. Look again. Drive kick. Bogdan getting a little break from the wind. But after the make, the moon with a defensive foul, which was is their seventh, puts them in a penalty and puts Huffman on the free throw line to shoot two. And Huffman misses the first of two. Great college career, scored over 1,300 points. Graduated as Brown's all-time leading three-point shooter. Went on to play professionally in Belgium. Retired in 2013, and he misses both free throws. So he came out empty. Came out of retirement to play 3x3. Boofy. The rainbow two missed. So a minute two left. The defending champs with a three-point advantage against Princeton. Neither team can foul. Oh, we'll see free throws. Hummel, great position. There's no hope for the dragon down there. He gets slayed with his team with a two-point lead. Make that a three-point lead. Just use that quickness to get past more. Now Hummel, he's getting to the crib. And he gets his roll on. 14-12. Oh, Mount Brady's. Almost came in with a steal on the dragon, but the up fake. Oh, great defensive possession. My Brady's sticking to him like a spray tan. I guess that's that's appropriate for a dude from LA. They gonna need some more def defense like that. All smiles here in Beijing. As we bring you another World Tour Final. Second year in a row at this venue. As we come at you from the Bloomage Live High Up Shopping Center. Three X three made possible by the LOC. Founding partner Nike, our global sponsor Wilson, our official timekeeper T So with 20 seconds left in this one. It's winning time, it's crunch time. A big miss, 15 ticks left. No need to foul. Five left on the shot clock. The Dragons pass is tipped, Huffman to Moore for the tie. He misses it off the rim. And only one second remaining, Moore forced to foul. Back the game's not over with yet. Not quite, but we'll, we'll see how much, how much time the ref line decides should be left in the game with, with Bogdan Dragovic, last year's MVP here in Beijing, for him to shoot. And only one tick remaining, couple of free throws to go. One make would, would put it away. A miss. It would, st it would take a long tip out and almost a touch shot from two to tie it. So it would take a miracle, but that's over with now. The reigning champs get it done against Princeton. And their first experience here at the World Tour Final is going to end after three games of play here in Beijing. So congrats to Princeton on, uh, on a good showing here in Beijing.